I'll show you how to adjust the metering valve on a, on a 7.3 IDI or 6.9 IDI. Um, basically, I've taken off the top of the of the um, IP reservoir here. Now there's a bar on this thing that has to go behind here. If you put it over the wrong way, it'll um, cause a runaway engine. So when you take this thing off, you have to remember to put it back exactly the way you got it. On top of here are um, a bunch of um, mechanisms that allow this thing to move back and forth. And sometimes if you run the tank dry or um, if the IP has been sitting for a long time, when you try to purge the air out of the lines, uh, it, it, no no fuel comes out of the uh, injector lines. And one of the possibilities is that, and if you've tracked down all of your other fuel issues beforehand, um, is that possibly this valve here is stuck. And uh, this one flows really nice, moves really nice. So I don't, this one would ever have it. But sometimes they get a little sticky. And uh, with a very clean glove, you can go in. Usually this is full of fuel. Um, you can go in there and you can adjust this. Um, or at least just sort of move it a little bit to try to break it free from whatever it's hanging up on. And uh, that's how I usually fix the situation. If, I ever, if I'm ever running out of, uh, like if I ran out of fuel and the thing doesn't seem to purge air ever out of the lines, um, I look at this and I see if maybe this thing is um, not moving. Um, and then when you put the thing back in, like I say, you just got to make sure you put this bar so that it goes behind this thing. Um, it's hard to see, but um, when you pull it off, just kind of you'll feel it. There's a pressure when you take these three when you take these three bolts out when it's on. You'll feel there's a pressure. You want to make sure you put, install it the same way that you feel that pressure. It kind of wants to pull forward a little bit. Um, yeah, that's what you want to do.